Steep is an extreme sports game which gives you eight different sports to challenge and complete with. To start with, you are given a few challenges to complete. The more you explore the maps and complete the challenges, the more you end up discovering more challenges and stories throughout the game. Alongside all the challenges dotted across the maps, there is also a side story within the game. You play either a male or female, depending on your choice of character from the ones they give you, and role play as an extreme sports competitor. The idea of the end of the game is to become the king of the mountain. The first five sports they gave to the game was skiing, wingsuit flying, snowboarding and paragliding. And if that isn't enough to keep you entertained, in the later DLC packages they added rocket powered wingsuit flying, sledding, base jumping and speed riding. The eight sports each have their own difficulties in the game. They also have an online multiplayer section where you can compete different challenges depending on the sport you've chosen. You are put with three other people, either from across the world or your own friends. The multiplayer part places you into different challenges across the maps. Whoever has the most points is then the winner and gains the most XP points to level up. The sounds and steep are very effective and brings you more into its world. It feels almost like you are there as you are overwhelmed with the sounds of the wind as you ski down the mountains or when your snowboard hits and skates in the icy and rocky parts. As well as enhancing your experience with sounds from being on the snow tops, Steep also provides you with music created and produced by various artists, helping you to keep motivated when you mess up and have to restart the challenges. You can also set the music style to your own preference. They give you a few options for the soundtracks, which are chill, electro, hip hop, rock, and Zakali. You can also opt to have no soundtrack. If you like the soundtrack provided by the game, you can find the playlist on Spotify. The graphics are very detailed and again, the animation transports you right onto the mountains. They have incorporated sunset, sunrise and nighttime, as well as being able to set the mood and time of the day to your preference. Each map is different and shows a lot of work has been put into the game to make it as real and appealing to its gamers. There are various little villages made up of houses and churches that you can go around and explore on foot, or you can ride them on your snowboard. The game allows you to explore right to the end of the mountain and to the edges of the maps, right up until you reach a huge pond frozen by ice. You can go onto these frozen ponds and ride on them, but you won't get anywhere in a short amount of time. The game itself is very easy to play. It is easy to control the character and the sport you are playing. Each sport feels different to play with, but once you dedicate some time, you do get the hang of them. I do find some sports harder to control and get used to than others, such as the parachute gliding one, but my favourite would be the snowboarding challenges, where you either do as many tricks as you can and gain as many points as possible, or race to the end within a time limit without crashing into any trees or rocks. They give you guides on the best route for each challenge to follow, so you can get the bronze, silver and gold medals. Once you get the gold, you are then on your own to improve your own score. There are loads of different challenges to complete, and even though I haven't played it consistently, even so, over the few years I've gone back to it, there are still many more challenges for me to complete and discover. When you're finished with the first two mountains, you can also buy the DLC package for Japan with the money you earn from completing each challenge. The higher the medal, the more money you achieve, but you can do the challenge over and over again until you get the gold one. I only very recently discovered that I could buy the Japan DLC. It is 100,000 steep coins, but you do earn that amount very quickly. Other than Japan, there are other DLC packages you can get, which you do have to pay with real money. But if you enjoy the game as much as I do, then you probably will buy them when it comes to it. The prices for each package are fairly reasonable, I'd say, but I have yet to play them, so I cannot give a proper review. They have nine other packages with one combined of three all ranging at a price from around £3 to £9. The Season Pass, which comes to £15.99, is the value of Steep and the original DLC package I am playing. You could sit there for hours trying to complete all the challenges up to gold and not realise how many hours have actually gone by. It is definitely a game I can go back to again and again. There is so much to complete and explore and the multiplayer competitions are really fun but it's probably better to play with friends as they are more reliable than strangers. 
For me, I like to come back to the game after a while, especially when I get stuck on a challenge that I've been trying for too long. But it is definitely fun to play with your friends as well, as you can challenge each other to get better and you can see your friends scores on the challenges which makes the game all more competitive. The mountain stories in Steep consist of a variation of tricks and stunts. Some stories are made up of hints and clues where you have to find the coordinates given and find the landmark using your map. Then once you've put a marker you either snowboard or travel using whatever sport you prefer and get to the place to complete that part of the story. In some mountain stories your main task is to follow an NPC down or around the mountains on a parachute glider. They usually start with a voiceover and tell you a story about the mountain you're on. I like the mountain stories as they're all very different to one another and they have a different play to the other challenges on the maps. The game was released in 2016 by Ubisoft and you can download the game with Microsoft Windows for Steam, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Even though the game is 4 years old, they are still doing new updates and adding DLC packages to keep their gamers interested. And if you buy the Season Pass, which is the base and original DLC, then the other packages don't seem as much compared. They always have new competitions like Steep World Tour, where you can win items like snowboards or outfits, and they sometimes bring things back so you have another chance of winning them. Another thing they have just introduced, which I think is pretty awesome, is community challenges. So every three weeks there will be a new challenge for the community to complete by working together so that everyone can earn the rewards provided. I think the game is worth the price it is. It's a combination of relaxing and being competitive depending on what part of the game you are playing. In my honest opinion, I have no negative views really on the game itself. I love how realistic it feels and feeling as if I'm really snowboarding down the mountains. I would definitely recommend the game. If you like a bit of a competition and like to have chilled one, then this is the game for you. If you want to escape into the snow without having to pay lots of money and still be in the comfort of your own home, then download Steep as it does exactly that if not almost. And it's only $16.99 for the season pass on Steam and $15.99 on PlayStation, which is what I have at the moment. Trust me though, I will be buying the other DLC packages when I eventually finish the season I'm currently on. I think the sound is a 10 out of 10 as they are spot on with how it sounds and feels to be on the snowy mountains. I would give the graphics a 10 out of 10 as well because it feels very realistic and I love the way the sun sets on your screen as if it's real. The gameplay is easy and feels smooth when playing so I would give that a 9 out of 10. I would play the game over and over again and like I said I like to come back to it so for me it would get a 10 out of 10. The mountain stories are nice and very different to one another but not the best thing out of the game so I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And overall for the game as a whole, I would have to give it a 9 out of 10.